What's up, guys? Dustin Yu here, back with the Florida Panthers GM mode. And we're in the conference finals one more time. We were in here last year. We're in here again. And we're taking on the Montreal... Uh, my, why did I almost say Montreal Canadiens? Oh, my God. We're taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, what a, what a screw-up that was. Um, they finished the season 57-20-5. They had 119 points. They had a sick year. We finished 44-27-11. and 11. So we actually finished fourth in that same division as them. But uh, so far in the playoffs, they've struggled. They've gone to seven games in each of their uh, rounds. And uh, we've actually done pretty solid. I think we went to six in round one and then uh, five in round two. So, uh, yeah, there we are. There, so Toronto and Ottawa went to seven. And then Toronto went to seven with Buffalo. And then we, we beat uh, the Islanders in six. Then we beat uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets, who um, were ranked. So we took out the number one and number two ranked teams in that uh, division, I guess, D, I guess. Um, because we were, we ended up being the crossover team for some reason. I think we had more points than Buffalo, but we ended up being the cross or uh, Ottawa, but we ended up being the crossover team to the other division. We were the wild card or something. Um, yeah, so we took out Columbus. Now we're taking on the very uh, number one President's Trophy winning Toronto Maple Leafs. So I think it'll be a series. <laughs> Jonathan Bernier taking on his former team once again. This time it'll be in the, in the uh, conference finals. We took on, was it? Who did we play last year? Was it LA? I think we. Uh, I actually don't remember honestly. Who the heck did we play last year? I feel like it's LA. I think we played LA. I could be mistaken though. Oh no, St. Louis. What? Oh wait, no. Yeah, it was LA. No, I'm right. Yeah, it was. It was LA. I thought it was LA. I was like, oh, wait a minute. So another former playoff or former team playoff matchup. <laughs> All right, so let's get into stats here. So uh, let's do team stats in the playoffs so far. Um, uh, we could probably go to the east. Yeah, that should work. So Toronto, Florida. So they are eight and six. We are eight and three. Uh, goals four wise, uh, in less we've only played eleven games. They've played fourteen. We have thirty two goals four, and they have twenty nine in fourteen. So we have two point nine one goals four per game. They're at two point zero seven. Our goals against per game is one point six four, and theirs is two. So stats wise, we are way better than them. Their goals for and against are pretty much almost identical. They're almost the same. So that's kind of uh, troubling for them. They had a pretty good year. Uh, power play. Our power play has improved a little bit. It's at 14.3. I don't know why we can never have a good power play. I switch it up all the time. It never works. Uh, the Toronto power play is 17.7. Uh, Shorthanded wise, we are 89.7. They are 88.2. So both of us have pretty good PKs. Uh, their power play is a little bit better than ours, but we have a better record so far. We're, f we're undefeated at home in the playoffs. Uh, they're 4-4, four and four, and then on the road, we're 3-3, three and three, and they're 4-2. So we have had a pretty good playoff run so far. Uh, Jonathan Bernier has completely stepped up the last couple of games. I think, uh, yeah, he didn't start off so hard. He hot in game one against Columbus. He let in four. Game two, he let in two, which was better. And then game three, he only let in one. Game game uh, four, he had a shutout. And then game five, again, one goal. So he's definitely back in his playoff uh, form, I guess you could say. And he's looking great in there. Uh, player stats in the playoffs. Let's look at our player stats. I usually do a point every two games. Just, you know. That's reasonable. If you can count on a guy to chip in one, one point every two games, it's pretty solid. So, uh, we're at eleven games. So technically, it'd be six. I'm gonna go with five, though. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt here, because it's it'd be like five point five points. So we're gonna just round down a little bit. <laughs> uh, so we have nine players basically who are almost a point every two games. Um, we're leading by uh, Ryan Callahan. We got Shore was seven, Yakupov was seven, Matthias was Matthias, Matthias was six, uh, Mueller was six, or is it Matthias? Maybe it's Matthias. That actually sounds right. I thought Matthias sounded good, but Matthias actually sounds way better. But anyways, Bodker has five, Huberto has five. Huberto had four assists last round. Uh, he had one assist in the first round. He hasn't. He's yet to score. Barchi has five points as well. So yeah, nine nine players with a, almost a point every uh, two games. Uh, in net, Bernier has been a stud once again. He's got better stats than last year so far. 11 point or 1.59 goals against. He's 8, 1, and 2. He's got a 9, 4, 7, 8 save percentage and one shutout. So far, so good. And we're taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Vierase. Right there. Okay. So they've played 14 games. Um, wow. They only have three players. 
four like 14 would be seven so they got you know five guys just under um if it was 13 i would round it down to six but you know technically they only have three players with a point every two games or better um they seem to be having troubles Kadri, van reams i can castle i'm assuming that's their first line um, as you can see, Kadri is an 85 playmaker, Van Riemsdyk is an 89 left wing power forward, and then Kessel is a 89 right wing sniper. That is a sick combination for a first line. I can't can't deny that at all. That's unbelievably a great line, you know. Uh, James Reimer, uh, 1.8 goals against. He's 8, 4, and 2, has a 9, 3, 9, 7 save percentage, and three shutouts in the playoffs. So it seems like some games he's hot, some games he's not. Obviously, he's got three shutouts in 14 games but his stats aren't that great his team stats I mean his stats are good I'm not gonna lie they're not as good as Bernier so uh, that's kind of what I'm comparing it to so um, okay let's go to uh, view lines here so we uh, we kind of switched up our lines we started off with some lines and we kind of switched it a little bit so uh, going into this we're gonna start with Barchi, Huberto, Callahan, Bodker, Mueller, Yakupov, Matthias or Matthias, Shore, Reinhardt, Upshaw, Gotch, and Howden. And on D, we got Ekman, Larson, Larson, Kulikov, White, Petrovic, and Goodbranson. And last time we switched Goodbranson and White, and that seemed to help us out a little bit. Power play, we got Barchi, Huberto, Yakupov, Ekman, Larson, Larson. And then the second one, we got Bodker, Mueller, Callahan, Kulikov, and White. It seemed to, the power play seemed to get a little bit better last round, so I think I'm going to stick it like that. I don't know, I don't even know why I showed you guys the power play lines, but. Uh, in net, we got Bernier and Dansk. Obviously, and then uh, let's check out Toronto here. Do, 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 Toronto. All right, uh, they got JVR, Kadri, Kuhlman. Oh, Kessel's not even on the first line. What? Yeah, they traded. <laughs> they got Grabowski back on their team. They traded for him from Washington. Uh, so Lupo, Grabowski, Kessel. That's weird, man. I thought that would have been their first line. I would. I would have put personally. I would put JVR, Kadri, Kessel. That'd be a sick line. I don't know why Kuhlman's on there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that line. That could work to our advantage, though. We'll have to see. And then they got Brower, uh, Bozak, Clarkson. That's a pretty good third line. And then Cleary, Lombardi, Ashton. So they actually got a pretty good a pretty good squad. Um, personally, I would have put Brower on the fourth line. He's more of a grinder. But, uh, I mean, their bottom six is pretty solid. They got two grinders, three two-way forwards, and a power forward, you know? They got a lot of grinder depth <laughs> deafness um yeah i don't know and then defense gardner and Fanuf, riley brennan gunnerson and franson they got a sick decor um their their fourth defenseman brennan is not as good as he could be but their bottom their bottom two are really good for a for a bottom two pair and i mean gardner and Fanuf, that's a sick combo and then riley's an 87 as well so yeah, you know, I'm looking a little bit worried here. Uh, Reimer's an 85, and then they got Hope. That, uh, I think it's uh, Brett, Brett Hope, maybe? I don't know what his name is. Brendan Hope? I'm not sure. So, yeah, they actually have a really sick team. I can see why they did so well. Um, we might be in trouble. <laughs> I'm just going to say it now. We could be in trouble in this round. Uh, we need Huberto to step up. That's the only way we're going to win. We need Huberto. Whew. Okay, game one. We're on the road, obviously. Uh, Toronto was number one in the East. Here we go. We need Bernie to step up. We need Huberto to step up for sure. You know, it's going to be a tough series otherwise. Power play, nothing. Power play, nothing. Ugh, cool him in. One nothing Toronto. Come on, power play. Oh, my God. If our power play doesn't score, we're in trouble. We've already had three power plays. Come on, Panthers. There we go. Callahan ties it. There we go. We got to get more shots, though. We're getting lots of shots, but we need more. Power play? Oh, my God. Wow. Tyler Bozak. All right. Barchi ties it up. 2-2. Two -two. Jeez Louise. Seems like we got a lot of offense on both sides. Morgan Riley. Oh, man. Come on, Panthers. Come on, Panthers. Tie it up. Tie it up, guys. Oh, no. I think they're going to get an empty netter. Yep. Empty netter. 4-2 final. Toronto. 36-31 with the shots for us. Um, you know, Bernie let in three three goals on, like, you know, I guess 30 shots, give or take, because obviously they scored empty netter. So that's not terrible. We had 36 shots, and we just couldn't score. So I think that's an issue. 
Um, Huberto got two assists, so that's good. Our first line definitely showed up. Um, but as for the power play, we had a lot of power play opportunities. We did not score, so. Uh, let's try Callahan there. Huberto there. Uh, Matthias Shore. I'm kind of wondering if I should put one of these guys on the power play. We got Matthias and Shore. Uh, his shooting's actually really good. <laughs> Uh, how many points does he have? He has six points in the playoffs. What about Shore? How good is Shore? His offense isn't as good. I think he's got seven points, though. Matthias has really good offense. Um, you know what? I'm going to try Yakupov on the point. We're going to get rid of White. And I'm going to put uh, Matthias or Matthias on the wing. He is technically counted as a center. He's left-handed, though. That's the thing. You know what? We're going to try that. Yeah. Because Yakupov's got pretty good shooting for... He's, you know, 88s is pretty decent. So, we're going to try that out. Yeah, we're going to try him out there. Try it out. I don't know. I'm not... It's never really been successful putting uh, forwards on the point. But Matthias is scoring goals for us. So, we definitely need to get him in there. Okay. Game two. We need to have a better game here. Um, it could have been just bad luck. I don't know. We need our power play to click, though. That's the thing, you know. So, okay, good kill. Come on, guys. Another big kill. There we go. All right, Ryan Callahan, one nothing. There we are. Good start. Good period. Come on, guys. Okay, good first. There we go. Second period. Keep going, Florida. Ah, Phil Kessel, son of a gun. All right, Ian White. There we go. Two one. There we go. Max Reinhardt. Awesome. 3-1. Alright. So far, so good. 4-1. Max Reinhardt again. Wow. Awesome. 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 Third period. We're up 4-1. Good kill. Alright. Alright. Ten minutes to go. And 4-1 final. There we go. So 31-31 were the shots. Uh, much better game by our whole team. Um... Obviously, it doesn't look like our first two lines didn't really do a whole lot, but at the same point, uh, I mean, obviously, we had our depth scoring. Bernier played a lot better, and I don't I don't think we got a power play goal, but uh, Callahan from Huberto. Okay, so, that, yeah, our first line definitely got a goal there. Uh, White from Barchi, so Barchi got in on a goal from White, so that's probably first line, and then Reinhardt had two from Matthias, Matthias and Shore. That line, is, that line has been working, you know. Um. Oh, we do. We didn't even have a power play. Okay, so we can't even say anything about the power play because we didn't even have one. So, not a big deal. We tie the series up one-one. There we go. All right, tied series, going home. Best of five. We got home ice advantage in this best of five if we take advantage of it. So basically, we have three home games and four games. If we can do this, we should have it. All right, game three. We have. Best of five home ice advantage, I guess. Not not realistically, but, you know, if we take advantage, we can do it. Ah, JVR. Okay, one nothing. Come on, Panthers. Wow, we got to get some shots here, guys. Not good. Not good. We're undefeated at home, guys. We got to keep that going here. Come on. Power play. Eh. Power play still not clicking. There we go, Matthias. I like, yeah, Matthias sounds better. Nice, Barchi, there we go, 2-1. We take the lead. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. Third period. Nice, Matthias again. Holy crap, that third line is clicking. That third line is unbelievable. Keep going, guys, keep going. Oh, my God, Callahan, 4-1. Beautiful, beautiful. 5-1, Bodker. Oh, my God, our whole team is scoring right now. All right, 5-1 final, 36-24 were the shots in favor of us. Looking great. Matthias with two Gs. Uh, Bodker on the second line. Callahan on the first line. And who had the other one? I don't even remember. I <laughs> uh, don't even... I think... Was it Barchi? Barchi might have scored? Uh, yeah, I don't recall. Let me see. Matthias, yeah. Matthias, Barchi, Matthias, Callahan, Bodker. So, Huberto had one assist. 
Uh, Callahan had two points. Archie had two points. Ekman Larson had two apples. Max Reinhardt getting in on the scoring. Matthias with two goals. Man, looking solid out there. Uh, power play still didn't do anything, but you know that's fine. That's okay. So three stars. Uh, Barchi, Callahan, Matthias. A little bit of everybody uh, chipping in there. That's great. All right. Whew. All right. Up 2-1 in the series. Two wins. Two wins and we're in. All right. Game four. We're at home again. Let's just keep it up. Let's keep it up. That's all we need to do. Just keep going. We're doing good so far. Need some shots here. Power play? Nothing. Man, our power play is awful. I guess we'll have to revisit that again. Ugh, Lombardi won nothing. Come on, Panthers. Undefeated at home in the playoffs. Let's keep it up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. Yeah, I don't think we, we're not getting enough shots here. Oh, Matthias. <laughs> not on the power play, but he scored. All right, third period. It's coming down to this. Come on, Panthers. You got to bury one. Somebody. Power plays. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't power play, but he still scored. Bodker. 2-1. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Bernier. Oh, nice. Ryan Callan, empty netter. 3-1 final. 32 to the 30 were the shots for Toronto. Man, Bernier. He is stepping up again. He's two two back-to-back -back huge games. Actually, three back-to-back. -back, three back-to-back-to-back. Back-to-back-to-back. Three games. Back-to-back-to-three -back -to -back -to backs in one row. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, three huge games. Uh, Huberto with another assist. Huberto is yet to score still. Huberto is still yet to score. But uh, Bernier, three goals in three games allowed. Or three allowed in three games, sorry. Oh, man. Okay, so I, you know what? Our power play is not working, but uh, I'm not going to change anything because we're winning. You know what? That's fine. All right. Here we go. We're back in Toronto. Ooh, all right. Um, how's the other uh, series going here? Let's see here. Oh, wow. St. Louis sl swept Edmonton. Oh, my God. I was kind of hoping that we'd face uh, Markstrom, but I guess I guess that's not happening. Wow. Okay, game five. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> Let's just wrap it up, guys. We're up 3-1. We just need to win one game. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Nice. Yakupov, one nothing. Good start. Great start. Come on, guys. Phil Kessel, all right. You're not going to silence him the whole series. He's already got a goal anyways, but... Bodker, 2-1. All right, there we go. Pretty even shots. Second period. Come on, Panthers. Power play, nothing. Oh, big kill, big kill, big kill. There we go. Power play, oh, God. Wish our power play would score, but it's okay. We're still winning games. Ah, uh, third period. Oh, man. Oh, no. Grabowski. Come on, kill it off. Oh, man. That's horrible. Oh, somebody's got to step up. Yes, Barchi. Oh, 3-2. Oh, my God. 3-2. Big kill. 3-2 oh, victory. The Panthers are going back to the Stanley Cup for the second year in a row. Who would have thought it? I honestly did not think we were going to overcome Toronto in this series. That is unbelievable. We managed to hold Kessel to two goals. Um, I don't know about their other players, but holy crap. That is insane. I did not expect to do that. Wow. Holy moly. So Yakupov from Ekman Larson, Mueller, Kessel from Lupul, Boatker from Huberto, Ekman Larson. Ekman Larson's been getting in a lot of goals. Grabowski from Franz and Kuhlman, and then Barchi from Callahan. Oh my goodness. Wow. Three stars. Jonathan Bernier. Two goals allowed on 36 shots. Sven Barchi with a goal. Ekman Larson with two goals, or two assists, sorry. Holy crap. All right. Yeah, we kept Kessel down to two goals that whole in the. Uh, in what five games? That's pretty. That's a pretty good feat. Like he's a good player. Uh, Van Riemsky got a couple, but uh, so it looks like we're taking on St. Louis in the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, we're gonna be on the road too. Oh wow, we're starting right away. They didn't even give us a break. Oh wow, we just gotta keep going here. All right, so St. Louis, uh, they finished what 46, 26, and 10. So they literally finished three points in front of us. So we we get we lose the home ice advantage by three points. Not a big deal. Matthias with eight goals leading our team right now. Uh, what's going on with Bernier? Save percentage-wise, uh, Halak is a .95 for St. Louis, and Bernier is a .948 for us. 
very close. Uh, goals against Bernier, 1.59, and Halak is a 1.65. So two hot goalies going into the finals here. Uh, points and wins. So it looks like Eberle was leading the league. Uh, we have Callahan with 14. Uh, the wins category, obviously Bernie and Halak both have 12. St. Louis only has uh, Chris Stewart with 11 points there in the top eight. Uh, goals and assists. We got Matthias and Callahan both with eight. St. Louis only has, again, Stewart with seven. Uh, Assist-wise, Huberto has 11 assists right now. So he's he had four points, was it? Was it four or five? No, he had five points. He had five assists going into that last uh, last round, and he, uh, he got six assists that round, so that's good. He's definitely proving he hasn't scored a goal yet, but you know what? That, I'd rather him set up, like, he's a playmaker. That's what he's there to do. So if he's setting up goals, I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> Um, and St. Louis doesn't have anybody up there with assists. Nice. All right, so let's take a peek at the uh, playoff tree really fast. We 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 know what's going on, kind of so. Uh, so St. Louis, let's just look at how they got there. So they beat Chicago in seven. They beat Minnesota in seven. Then they swept Edmonton. First place Edmonton Oilers. Wow. Um, actually, I don't know if St. Louis was first or Edmonton. They were both number ones in their uh, division. So. And how we got here, well, we took out the uh, the Islanders in six. We took out the Columbus Blue Jackets in five. Then we took out the Toronto Maple Leafs in five. St. Louis, Florida Panthers. Oh, my goodness. I, wouldn't, I did not think we would make it for a second year in a row. Like, that's just, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we definitely have a great team, you know. We had to make a little bit of uh, a little bit of moves. Got rid of uh, Schultz, who we picked up in the offseason because he was just having a bad year. We got rid of uh, Kopecky, who was just not having a great year either, and he was getting older. Uh, so with our Callahan's almost caught up to a, a point in game almost. He's at 14 and 16. Matthias has 11. Wow. Stepping up on that third line. Uh, Huberto has 11. Barchi has 10. Mueller has 9. Ekman Larson has 9. Yakupov has 9. Like, we got tons of guys going. Drew Shore has 9. Boker has 9. Ryan, Max Reinhardt has seven points. Larson has six. Like, we just... Holy crap. We have nine players with a point a game, a point every two games or better. That's crazy. We almost have ten. Like, jeez Louise. Um, what do we got for plus minus right now? Uh, Gotch is the only one that's not a plus. You know what? That's fine. I'm totally, totally happy for that. Our power play, though, is still a little bit suspect, but that's okay. Um, let's look at our goalie here. Jonathan Bernier, 1.59 goals against. He's 12, 2, and 2. Uh, 9, 4, 7, 8, save percentage, one shutout. He's he's doing better than he was last year. Well, I don't know. His fin his final stats were uh, 16, 4, and I think that was it, just 16, 4. Yeah, that makes 12. No, no, he would have been 16, 4, and 2 because it doesn't show. I don't know why the tie category is there. It should just be like OTL, like o overtime loss. Or like, yeah, or, yeah I don't know. Like, whatever. It's either an over... Uh, yeah, I guess it would have to be an overtime loss in the playoffs, though, right? So, so yeah, he would have been 16-4-2. and two. He's currently 12-2-2, two and two, so that's good. He's pretty much on track for the exact same. He's got better goals against the last year. Uh, better save percentage by, like, .002. Uh, he's only got one shutout, though. So, looking for a big, big uh, Stanley Cup final out of Bernier. But, uh, so far, we look phenomenal going into that finals. All right, so we'll get into the Stanley Cup finals next time against the St. Louis Blues. All right, thanks for watching, guys.